Hey guys, this is Chris with Bell Electronics, and uh, I got a return today. I just kind of want to show you guys the process that I use when I'm opening them up and checking them, and then I'm going to kind of explain why returns aren't really a big deal. So, so we'll go ahead and get started. Let me uh, set the camera up. Let's get this going. Oh, I think y'all can see it pretty well. Should be able to anyway. And I usually record myself opening returns anyway, just simply because it makes a stronger case if they send back a brick or something like that. This one here is a Galaxy S10. I've been having some problems with Galaxy S10s, so I'm not actually buying them at the moment, just simply because of how many issues I've had with them. So far they've been a kind of a bad investment for me. Um, Inside of a box. These are turn bars really need to tape stuff on big time. I don't even know where to start. So I get returns probably, um, maybe like three or four times a month. It's not super, um, super common, I guess, but, um, just because it's all part of running a business, you know, returns are, I mean, it's just part of it. Um, and the wonderful thing about getting returns with phones and stuff is you can usually just turn around and relist it and then it'll usually sell for about the same price. As long as you got everything in the description correct and all that, you shouldn't have any issues with it. Cool. Looks like I pretty much got everything back. The buyer was kind of cool. He, uh, he even sent me a different cable because he probably opened the other one. plastic on it anymore. Oh well, I sold it. Oh, there's still plastic on the back. Let's turn it on here. Turn it on, Galaxy S10. This one's only Verizon. For some reason, it's locked only to Verizon. It is paid off. I think Verizon is starting to lock their phones, so um, watch out for that. See, as you can see, it's Verizon right there. Um, <clears throat> uh, for all I've known, they've they've recently just started doing this, so um, just watch out for that. It's another reason I'm not buying an S10 right now. Also, they've been having some problems with getting heated Let's up, so that's Let's another reason I'm not buying them. I always record myself. Um, I always go through the whole thing just to make sure they didn't send back it send it back with like a Google lock or something like that. See which he didn't. So no no, I'll skip. Hey, you're back. Next up is email. Let's check out Verizon Security. Skip. Login. Skip. Congrats. Done. Alright, everything looks good. Looks clean. It's just you I mean, it was used when I sold it, so I sold it as used. It was pretty much brand new. It still is pretty much brand new, other than a couple scratches on the screen, which I don't know where those came from. But I can still sell it for about the same price anyway, so maybe a little bit less, which is fine. I'll still make a profit off of it. So, let me bring the phone over here.
All right, so now we're just gonna go return the, uh, we're gonna do the refund. Messages, uh, issue refund. All right, so for the Galaxy S10 Prism White, I'm gonna issue the refund since everything looked good. Refund the buyer. It was eight hundred dollars, so okay, and that is done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and so I didn't know this phone's Google was a uh, locked only to Verizon at the time so um, I'm just gonna go back and put that in the listing where's it at here it is yeah this is the one <clears throat> all right so we're gonna relist this item I do gotta upload some new pictures, apparently. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna relist it. And it'll probably sell for, eh, around 770 or something like that. It is Verizon, so um, it can probably be easily unlocked by somebody else. <coughs> so, um, and that's how I deal with returns, guys. I just kinda get them, then I relist them, and I sell them again. So it's kinda easy stuff, nothing too hard to worry about. And I hope this helps you guys out. Y'all have a good day. And if you haven't, yeah, yep, I'm still here. If you guys haven't downloaded David's ebook yet, I recommend doing that. And uh, if you haven't joined my Facebook group yet, I recommend doing that as well. All right, now have a great day, guys.